Well, good afternoon and welcome family, friends, faculty, staff, and most importantly, candidates for the degrees to Angelo State University's 2023 commencement for spring graduates. My name is Don Topliff and I have the privilege of serving as the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at ASU, and it's my pleasure to be your host for today's event. Now, if everyone would please rise, and gentlemen, remove your hats and caps for the presentation of the colors by the Angelo State University ROTC Uni Detachment 847 Ram Guard. Immediately following, Mr. Jesse Rios will lead the singing of our national anthem. Thank you, you may be seated. With me today are the members of the official platform party whom I'd like to introduce at this time and ask them to stand. And if you would, please hold your applause until all introductions have been announced. First, the Honorable Tim Culp, Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System. Mr. Ronnie D. Hawkins, Jr., President of Angelo State University. Dr. Clifton T. Jones, Vice Provost for Academic Affairs. Dr. David L. Bixler, Dean of the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Dr. Andrew Tiger, Dean of the Norris Vincent College of Business. And Mr. Joe Munoz, the Senior Executive Assistant to the President and ASU's General Counsel. Please join me in a round of applause for these individuals. You know, at the heart of every great university is the faculty, those who guide and mentor their students. I'd like to ask that all members of the faculty president present here today please stand to be recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. It's now my pleasure to introduce Regent Tim Culp, of the Texas Tech University system to bring a message of welcome 
from the Texas Tech University system. Regent Culp. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Topliff. Ladies and gentlemen, proud moms and dads, family and friends, and most of all, distinguished graduates and members of the class of 2023, it is my distinct honor to represent the Texas Tech Board of Regents University at today's co commencement and to share this wonderful occasion with you. Not once did I ever dream that one day I would address the generation of Angelo State University students as a regent of the Texas Tech University system. Graduates, you've received an excellent education from ASU which will change the course of your life and will serve you well in the years and the decades ahead. While each of you will cross this stage today individually, your journey has not been a solitary one. Your teachers and professors have been there along the way and your family and friends have been there from the beginning. Be sure to thank each one of them. Remember your alma mater and remember this very important day. Angelo State has helped shape you and your future. Now you will help shape ASU is there is no better testament to a university than the success of its graduates. We welcome you as contributors to ASU's legacy. In conclusion, please accept congratulations from the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System and our best wishes for you and your future. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Culp. And it's now my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce the 11th president of Angelo State University and my good friend, Mr. Ronnie D. Hawkins, Jr. Thank you, Dr. Topliff, and good afternoon uh, to the Angelo State University Spring Class of 2023. You made it. My heartfelt congratulations to each of you upon re reaching this milestone in your journey of lifelong learning. I hope none of you are thinking like I did back some 46 years ago when I was sitting where you are today, thinking that this was the last degree I was ever going to get. Because you, like me, will be lifelong lear learners whether you believe it or not. You will never stop learning and you will soon become the teachers as well as leaders if you haven't already begun that journey as well. To the parents, the guardians, the families, the friends of these graduates sitting in front of us today, congratulations to you as well. You were the individuals who did the conjoling, the encouraging, the pushing, and sometimes even the pulling of your student or students to get them to this point. Well, here they are and here you are as well. Congratulations to you also. <laughs> to the graduates, I'm not sure whether this has been a two, four, six, or whatever combination of years it has taken you for you to get your diploma, but you have made it through what I call the crucible of hard knocks with flying colors. You have made it to a finish line. However, before you come up to receive your diploma, please allow me the opportunity to share some thoughts you might not have pondered as of yet. I mentioned that you made it to a finish line, but just as soon as you walk down the, the ramp to my right, you will cross a line, but it will not be a finish line. Instead, the line you cross will be another starting line. So don't be surprised when you're back in learning mode or perhaps even teaching mode. I want you to remember that you will never stop learning. When you walk across the stage this afternoon, you will also join the ranks of over 48,000 other individuals who are called Angelo State University alum. It is my hope you will stay co connected with your alma mater through the Angelo State Alumni Association. We are postured to do some great things here at ASU, and we can achieve even greater accomplishments through a strong alumni base. By the time we are done with all the commencement ceremonies this afternoon and this weekend, I will have shaken over 1,000 new alumni, the alumni's hands. If you do not remember anything else I tell you, though, remember this. You will leave a legacy wherever you are at to include having left Angelo State. 
The question is, what type of legacy will you leave? Will it be one where people say you were a great individual to be with, to work with, to win with, or will it be, I'm glad he or she is gone? What do you plan your legacy to be? Again, there are more starting lines ahead that you will encounter. Take them with confidence and courage. Remain connected to your alma mater through the Alumni Association. You are prepared and your time here at ASU has positioned you for greatness. Stay true to the core values you have helped shape and codify here at Angelo State. Think about the legacy you are building each day. What will people say and think about you when you are no longer there wherever there might be? I'm going to go off script for just a moment, talking again to the family and friends who are here and representing these, these graduates here. You're getting ready to hear from our provost that he's going to ask everybody to hold their applause until the last person has received their diploma. You have my permission to not listen to him when he says that. The, the only request we have, you can make as much noise as you want, but please do not do the air horns. We don't need the air horns here for people that are, are listening for their graduate's name right there. But again, as much noise as you want to make, please go ahead and do that. Again, to the graduates, there's a slogan we use here at ASU. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together and go as a ram. Congratulations once again and God's richest blessings. Go Rams and Ram Bells. Thank you, President Hawkins. Before the awarding of degrees, I'd like to recognize a group of undergraduate degree candidates whose outstanding academic performance has earned them special distinction. As I call your group, would you please stand to be recognized? First, those are who are graduating cum laude with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Would you please stand? Thank you. You may be seated. And now, those graduating magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. Would you please stand? to be recognized. And finally, those that are graduating summa cum laude with a grade point average of 3.9 to a perfect 4.0. Would you please stand? Thank you, you may be seated. We'd also like to recognize students who have completed the graduation requirements for the Angelo State University Honors Program and those graduating with high university honors. Would you please stand? You may be seated. And now for the awarding of degrees. Candidates for the master's degrees, would you please stand and remain standing? <laughs> President Hawkins, on behalf of the faculty, the deans and I present the candidates for the master's degree. These candidates have fulfilled all of the requirements as set forth by the university, and we recommend that each be awarded the degree earned. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, Texas Tech University System, I hereby confer upon each of you and upon those graduating in absentia the appropriate degree. You may be seated. And now the bachelor's degree candidates from the Norris Vincent College of Business. Would you please stand and remain standing? President Hawkins, on behalf of the faculty, the deans and I present the candidates for the bachelor degree. These candidates have fulfilled all the requirements as set forth by the university, 
and we recommend that each be awarded the degree earned. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, Texas Tech University System, I hereby confer upon each of you and upon those graduating in absentia the appropriate degree. Please be seated. We'll now proceed with the individual awarding of diplomas. Faculty marshals, please prepare the graduates to be recognized. Now this is the point in the script where I have to read something that I am required by law to read, so please bear with me. In order to keep the ceremony progressing smoothly, please hold, I'll forget it. Also, I'd like to call your attention to the professional photographers down front here who will take photographs of the candidates as they cross the stage where they will pause and for a picture with the president. Dr. Karen Cody, professor of French and Spanish, will announce the graduates' names. Presenting the master's candidates in the Norris Vincent College of Business is Dr. Andrew A. Tiger, Dean of the Norris Vincent College of Business. Jacqueline Atuin. Trevor Berry. Kiana Chanel Brown. Frank Isaiah Butler III. Joshua A. Calvary. Jessica Hallmark Kaysen. Phi Kappa Phi. Matthew Childress. <laughs> Melissa Contreras. Kaylee Lane Crawford, Alpha Chi High University Honors, Norris College of Business Distinguished Student Recipient. Braden Curry. Mia Isabel Zarnicki, Summa Cum Laude High University Honors. Mary Dantzler, summa cum laude, high university honors. Mary Preston Darby. Myra Davila. Micah Jaden Flowers. Georgette Ray Garcia. Brent Austin Glasgow. Justin Henry Gonzalez. Jacqueline Kate Graham. Kylie Hampton. Oh, 
Jarrett Hill, Phi Kappa Phi. Morgan Jupiter. William T. Langseth. Rollins Edmund Barnes Mayfield. Jason W. McConaughey. Catherine Motts. Tafadzwa Emmanuel Mubayiwa. Carly Powers. Maria Belinda Pruneda. Jill Marie Ramon. Jocelyn Ciara Reyes. Leslie Rosas. Haney Elizabeth Russell, Phi Kappa Phi. Samantha Sosa. Joel Valdez. Maria Azucena Washington. Eddie Sunica Sanchez. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. Leading the Department of Accounting, Economics, and Finance is Dr. Chuck Peer, Department Chair. Sydney Madison Bishop. Andrew Gabe Kate. McKinley Brooke Caulfield. Kim Lin Chung, summa cum laude. Matthew Alexander Compton. Wade Eaton. Dylan V. Everidge, magna cum laude. Morgan Hope Fernandez. Jose Rodolfo Fregoso. Fernando Gámez Olvera, summa cum laude. Lisa Shanette Garza. Laura Diana Gonzalez, cum laude. Alana R. Good. Tao Nguyen Huang, magna cum laude. Alpha Chi High University Honors.
Maria Huichapa. Mariana Huichapa. Jalen Ingle, cum laude. Logan Randall Jenkins, cum laude. Braden Will Jaton. Alexis Danielle Jimenez. David Blaze Leatherwood, magna cum laude. Jose Maria Mata, cum laude. Marshall G. Mayfield. Bobby Lee McDaniel. Virginia Mesa. Spencer Valentine Morton. Talina T. Murray. Zane Nudia. Angie Nwatungani. Karina Herrera Perez. Caitlin Moore Ramoneda, cum laude. Fumitoshi Saito. Roger Semista, cum laude. Rachel Lee Thomas. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. Leading the Department of Management and Marketing is Dr. Rex T. Moody, Department Chair. Amelia Paloma Angel. Jacob Avila. Daniela Lisbeth Berry, cum laude. Trevor Foster Bills, cum laude. Peyton Bailey Box. Kyle Jacob Bunger. Andrew Brian Carstens, cum laude. Samantha Arley Chavez. Amaya Danielle Cobos. Parker Ashton Compton. Yeah. 
Abigail Marie Cook, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi, Phi Kappa Phi. Abigail Jordan Cox. Cody Lee Cox. Gabriella Kelis Crespo, magna cum laude, Alpha Chi. Brian Charles Davis. Juan David de la Cruz. Anika Caitlin Dean, magna cum laude. Regina A. Dean. Catherine Faith Detmer, magna cum laude. Jeremiah Devereaux. Dawson James Dominguez. Katie Ann Duke, magna cum laude. Paulina Giselle Escareño. Jackson Carter Fee. Adriana Flores. Emily Joy Fouts. Linda Bradford Frakes. Benjamin Gonzalez. Jacob Anthony Gonzalez. Xavier Mulenda Mo Gra. Ricardo Alexis Guerra. Alejandro Gutierrez. Derek Kai Hoffman. Rebecca Heroy, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi. Braden Isaiah Hill, cum laude. Justin Clarence Hogue. <laughs> Cynthia Mariah Olguin. <laughs> Joel Aaron Yensky. Megan Faith Jessup, magna cum laude. Darcy Ann Johnson, cum laude. Dyson DeAndre Jones. Brady Cole Kalustian. Yeah. 
Juliana Kaiser Madrid. Summer Lacey Knight. Fu Quint Kya. Journey Renee Lewis. Hunter Nicole Little. Adamaris Ontiveros Lopez. Isaura Lopez. Monica Blanco Lozano. Haley Nicole Mahaj. Jasmine Ruby Macias, magna cum laude. Portia Carrera Madrigal. Karen Abigail Martinez. Tea Arevalo Mendoza. Cynthia Marie Mims. Samantha Yanid Moreno, cum laude. Tristan Jake Morrow. Aaron Murphy, cum laude. Jatavian Richard Neal. Noelle Elizabeth Parker, summa cum laude. Gregory Nicholas Perez, cum laude. Fong Ling Fan, summa cum laude. Ti Huang Yun Fan, magna cum laude. Austin James Reese. Dakota Crystal Robles. Hesenia Marie Rodriguez, summa cum laude. Jose Mario Rodriguez Vargas. Reina Carisma Rojas. Cameron Walter Schneider. Spencer T. H. Schneider, cum laude. Dawson Lynn Shockley. Fabrizio Soriano. Whitman Alexander Stokes. Skyler Anna Struby. Olumide Michael Sule.
Benjamin Marshall Thompson. Michelle Renee Underwood, cum laude. Madison Lynn Valdez. Andrew Thomas Walsh. Jordan Sophia Ward. Amanda Lynn Wells. Taylor John White. Maricia Patrin Spence, cum laude, Alpha Chi. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. Congratulations, Angelo State University class of 2023. If you have air horns, you may now blow them. Let's give them a round of applause. That's a little bit of a novel thing. That's kind of interesting. It's now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Kimberly Adams, the director of the ASU Alumni Association, to bring a special message to our newest graduates. Ms. Adams. I would like to ask all graduates receiving their bachelor's degrees to please stand. On behalf of the ASU Alumni Association, it is with great honor to ask the graduates of the class of 2023 to please move the tassel on your mortarboard from the right to the left as a symbol of your commencement at Angelo State University. If you have a class ring, you may now turn your ring to signify your status as an alumnus. I would like to ask all of the graduates receiving their master's degrees and all ASU alumni who are in the audience or on the platform to please stand. You may be seated. Today you begin a new role as a graduate and an Angelo State alumni. As alumni, you have a great responsibility of ensuring that ASU continues its upward growth by remaining close and getting involved. It was the enthusiasm of our alumni and the support of Bob and Jean Ann Legrand that built the Legrand Alumni and Visitor Center so that you could have a home to come back to on campus. While we welcome you back at any time, we hope that you will join us every year for homecoming. As some of you will venture away from San Angelo, we invite you to get involved with our alumni chapters and network with your fellow alumni. For those of you that are staying close to San Angelo, we look forward to seeing you around campus. On behalf of the ASU Alumni Association, I congratulate you on your individual accomplishments and challenge each of you to stay connected with the Ram family as we continue the quest. Congratulations and go Rams. Thank you, Kim. Members of the audience, if you would, please remain seated during the recessional of the platform party, the faculty, and the graduates. We hope that you will continue to share this experience with your family and friends.
We encourage photos and invite you to spend some time on campus. However, would we, you, we would ask that you consider taking photos at additional places on campus as well as opposed to around the Janelle Center. We do have one more graduation ceremony left this afternoon and we'd like to avoid a parking mess. So thank you. Congratulations, class of 2023. Our graduation ceremony is hereby concluded.